Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. We are grateful for another day, beginning of another week. We can come in devotion and praise to our God for all that he has done for us, not only today, but all during the course of our lives. And as believers, I trust that we are grateful to God for his love towards us. And we reminded that God's love is strong and is in position to help us. And have you ever thought about why did Jesus come and die for us? Why did God through Christ Jesus have mercy on us every day? He gives no mercy. Have you ever thought about it? The Lord's purpose for bringing salvation is not because we have done well and deserve to be saved, but rather his purpose for salvation is because we have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. More importantly, he came with salvation because we cannot save ourselves. And when we accept his salvation, he destroys the enemy of our souls. And because his love is strong and in position to help us, that is why he does it. He's the one that helps us to overcome. He's the one that gives us strength when we are weak. He's the one who shows us the way when it seems like there is no other way to go. We must trust Him today. Be grateful and honor Him. And His Word is there to bring us encouragement. Our meditation today comes from the book of Ezekiel chapter 36, where God declares to His people who was in bondage, who was in bondage because of sin, because they disobeyed him and he allowed them to be incarcerated, to be trapped for a season and then declared to them that he will put his spirit within them. Let's read what Ezekiel was told to say to the people of God. Verse 22. So tell the family of Israel that this is what the Lord God says. Family of Israel, you ruined my holy name in the places where you went. I am going to do something to stop this. I will not do it for your sakes, Israel. I will do it for my holy name. Verse 26 says, I will put a new spirit in you to change your way of thinking. I will take out the heart of stone from your body and will give you a tender human heart. I will put my spirit inside you and change you so that you will obey my laws. You will carefully obey my commands, the word of God to the people of God. God saves us, not so that we can be promoted, but rather that he preserve his holy name, that he protects his own. And today we are saved because God loves us. And that's we should celebrate. Not that we have a name or a title or a position, but rather we are here because of his grace and mercy. We are positioned because God loves us and he wants us better for his glory. So as we live today, let's live with the understanding that God loves us. And he has done it 
to save us for his glory. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for your love towards us. Thank you that you moved to deliver us, not because we were good, but because we have done everything against you. And only you can bring us back. And I praise you today for your willingness to help us every step of the way. Despite our past, our failures, our faults, you look beyond it. And you see the need for us to have salvation. So I pray that we will operate today in your grace, in your mercy. Touch those who lead the nations this morning, including our Prime Minister and all of Parliament. We bring leaders of our nation and every step that we will look to you, who is our salvation and our rock. We commend in particularly those who lead in the medical profession, those who lead in education. We pay your grace. We pray for the body of Christ and those who lead. We thank you for the peace of Jerusalem, the families everywhere. We commend you today in Jesus' name and for our sake. Amen. God bless you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's share the love of God through obedience, through worship, through praise, so that others will know that God is a deliverer and they too can be delivered. Have a great day in the Lord.